The cookie slaps. It slaps. The cookie slaps. It slaps. <laughs> Sure, you just heard that review. That's the review from this cookie. There's another review at the end of this video, and you don't want to miss these reviews. Hi, work fab. Today we're going to make chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to show you just how I make my cookies. If you're new here, please check the screen on the instructions on how this meal was made, on how this cookie was made. And if you're an OD, you probably already know that. Please check the description box for the list of ingredients used and their accurate measurements. And if you have any question, the comment section is open for you so let's talk if you have any suggestions so let's talk in the comment section so the first thing i'm doing first is i'm going to brown the butter what this basically means is going to give it more like a caramelized um color and texture it adds a, a whole different flavor to this cookie see if you're making chocolate chip cookie before and you've not done this you're on a long thing you're sleeping on a bicycle you should definitely try this out but try not to burn the butter right we're just going to brown it i'll show you what it looks like before we use it okay so you guys oh well, i was just so we went to church for midweek service and i made these cookies just before church and i gave to my friend because we went to church together um face glam see you can check out her business page on instagram face glam she's a badass makeup artist so i gave her some cookies and i also made delicious cupcakes i will drop the recipe for that don't worry so i gave her some cookies and at the end of service i was talking to some people in front of church and she just called me and said Esther, cop, 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 cop. They are giving reviews on your cookies at the back, and I want you to hear it. And I went there and I switched out, and I, I flipped out my phone. And I said, I'm going to record these reviews because everybody had nice things to say. I couldn't even get some because it was really dark outside, and some people were already outside. But you guys, this cookie slaps, just like Timmy Agbaje said. It was, it slaps. You should definitely try this out. So, that aside, that being said, today and. Okay, sorry, another quick break. Note that you can use your hand wicks for this. It's just quicker to use an electric whisk if you have one. So today, I'll talk about how we sometimes judge a book by its cover. By we, in bracket me, just so you know. So um, I used to have a personal trainer at the gym. Um, personal trainer are people who um, personally train you for the body you want. Um, sometimes it includes your meal your um workout um, exercises your form they just like have like they're more focused on you right or that i'm um, like you just signing up for the gym working out on your own or joining general classes personal trainers also take general classes sometimes right right so i used to have a personal trainer at the gym so another quick break right for this recipe i used one egg and one egg yolk so it's going to be in the description box so i just wanted to say this out there one egg and one egg you see that's why it's important to listen to the, the audio of the video as much as you watch the video so it's a personal trainer and they moved him they transferred him from my branch to another branch and it was like a very sharp transfer there was really no time to wrap our head around it but um they were like we can choose from other trainers that will be at the gym and then some other trainers are going to come some other new trainers will come to choose from any of them to continue because we still had our personal training fee um ongoing was at the middle of the month so while the day i got to the gym and realized oh my trainer had been transferred another trainer at the gym that i used to see before around the gym came to me and said oh he had my trainer has been transferred if i'm looking for a personal trainer I could join his personal training if I wanted to and all. I haven't really had any conversation with him. Just hello hi prior to that. And I was like, oh no, I would I don't I don't I'm not interested in that. They said another trainer is coming. I would wait for him to come. I think I'll be under his training. And then I went ahead and joined the other train the new trainer's training. And because I judged this guy, actually, I joined that new trainer training because I judged this guy that he doesn't know what he's doing. I've not really seen him work out with anybody, so why would I trust him? I don't know. Do you understand? I just judged him and said, This one will go know what he did. Do. Only for me to now, that was like two months ago or something, only for me to be talking to him recently and realize that, in fact, before I started talking to him recently, I now actually started seeing him in his elements i see him train other people see him in class because he had some general classes he took i joined some of his general classes and i was like i misjudged this guy i actually did misjudge him and just looked looked i just said mm, he will not be able to do this job i just misjudged him like and sometimes right we do that a lot we just judge people by 
sometimes your, your instinct might be right don't this is not a call to say oh don't listen to your instinct when you feel like you know so follow your instinct but just give people the benefit of that just give them a little bit the benefit of that just try to see what they're capable of because i got to find out that the person i finally chose as personal trainer then it was this guy that trained him as a trainer do you understand and it was crazy because when I, I was just like esther you studied a course where they kept telling you every day don't judge things by how they seem don't judge people by school but oh, you graduated from university and you came out to judge <laughs> okay so another quick break these are all the cookie balls um i got from the dough you could so i'm not going to bake all of this like this i'll show you how many i baked. i baked about nine but i want to put them in the fridge to freeze and then the next morning i just put them in a ziploc bag and put it in the freezer i could last three months in the freezer this are the amount i baked it needs space if you don't space it out well they are going to bake and join to each other and you don't want that so please space it out this was the cookie it was so amazing this cookie smelled so good tasted better than it looked and it smelled you guys you saw the review there's another review at the end of the video and the lady was saying that people should buy not knowing that i don't sell this that's not to tell you how good these cookies were she asked people to buy so to wrap up our juice for today let's learn to give people grace right let's try and allow them prove themselves from time to time but be sensible in your grace period you get so some people actually you, you can actually judge them because that's actually who they are so you could put this in airtight bags and leave it in your fridge for weeks as long as it's sealed and the cookie dough can stay in your freezer for like three months every monday to wednesday we have the poll where we can vote for the meal of the week but other than that we're going to be having other polls on the community tab please check out for that subscribe to our channel stay safe stay woke i love you Breaking news, breaking news. I want to talk about this. It's very sweet. Bye, please. But you're nice. It's very lovely. I'm not even joking. I had it and I was satisfied. You need to be satisfied.